Hey guys, it's QA Shahin here, and today we are going to see how we can write a really simple cucumber based selenium test and then run it through Jenkins. So, the first thing we're going to do is write a very simple cucumber selenium test and see the kind of challenges that we need to consider when we want to attempt to run it through Jenkins and then run the test through Jenkins. So we need to do a couple of things to actually set up Cucumber. Now, I won't go into too much detail because I have a really dedicated and detailed video series on how to write Cucumber tests from the very bottom scratch. But just to explain a few things along the way, I will provide really basic uh, definitions and descriptions. But primarily, the focus of this video is to really quickly write a Cucumber test and then see the focus of trying to get it and run it through Jenkins. So the first thing we're going to do is download the Cucumber plugin for Eclipse. We are then going to update our POM file by adding in some relevant Cucumber dependencies. We're then going to write a really basic feature file and then write the step definitions for it. And then we're going to see how we can eventually get it to run via Jenkins. Right. So if you remember what we did in the last video, all we did was we set up Selenium to run and we eventually got it to run via Jenkins. So in this particular video, we're basically going to change all of this and get it to run via Cucumber instead. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, just go ahead and delete this because I don't really want this anymore. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is download a plugin that will allow us to write files which Eclipse will see as feature files. To do this, just go to help and then go to install new software. And what we want to do is punch in a URL that will effectively navigate to a GitHub repository, which will allow us to download a plugin for Eclipse which then in turn allows us to write feature files, which Eclipse will recognize. The URL we need to go to is, is this. So that's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash cucumber.github.com forward slash cucumber dash eclipse forward slash update site. So when you enter this and hit add, you should get this Cucumber Eclipse plugin. So all you do is select it and just install it. Now I've already installed it. When you select it, you will get the option to click next. Just go through, click next, 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 and finish at the end and it will install. So this is something that we've gone through in my Cucumber videos, which is why I'm not going to go through it again in the interest of trying to keep this video much more focused on trying to get Cucumber to run via Jenkins instead. So once you've done that, so to create our feature file, all we're going to do is go to our test directory, right click, new, and then select other. And in here, type in file, hit next. And we're going to create a feature file by simply calling it something that makes sense. So we're just going to say test feature dot feature and hit finish. So if you've done this correctly, you will see something that looks very similar to this. All this is, is essentially some really boilerplate text, which comes as part of the plugin. So we don't want any of this, so we can get rid of this. But more importantly, you can see that the icon of this particular file has the cucumber icon. So this has recognized the fact that this is a feature file. So this is exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and write a very simple feature file. So we're going to say feature simple feature and all we're going to say is scenario go to QA Shahin YouTube page and we'll just say given I go to QA Shahin then I should be on 
QA Shahin YouTube page. And that's it. Let's not do any more than that. So let's save that. Now, if we try and run this, we should be able to run it as a cucumber feature. You will notice that you get an issue saying that the cucumber.api.cli.main class are not found. And that makes sense because we haven't added the classes in into our pom file. So let's go ahead and do that first. So if we go to pom and we go to pom.xml, what we want to do is add in the relevant dependencies. So the first dependency we want to add in is the cucumber Java dependency. So if we open up Firefox and quickly do a search for it to see if we can find it. So let's say download cucumber Java Maven dependency and let's just go with the first link and that looks correct to me so we're just going to go ahead and actually this is the one we want we're going to go ahead and copy this in okay let's save it so once we save it we should start seeing a lot of cucumber files being eventually pulled in and they have been so now if we go back to our feature file and right click and run this we should see a different type of error so all this is now saying is basically that the step definitions for these test steps are missing so let's go ahead and implement them so to do this all i'm going to do is right click under the java directory say new and create a quick class let's just call this step definition and all I'm going to do is paste in the step definitions and I'm going to get rid of the exceptions so the first thing I'm going to do is import in the relevant class so I can import in given and the then so I'm going to need a couple of things. I'm going to need an instance of WebDriver. And let's just say this is going to be, well, let's go into our given and we'll do it quickly there. So when we say driver is equal to new Chrome driver. We also need to set the path for it, so let's do that also. So to do that, it was system dot set property, and if I remember right, it was webdriver dot chrome dot driver, and the path is well. The project is currently pointing to the root path, which means all I have to do is just provide the name of the exe, which in this case is Chrome driver okay and all we're going to say is driver dot navigate to and let's just for the moment pass in the name of my channel or the URL of my channel so that is this particular URL here okay so that should satisfy this whole step obviously we've passed in an argument um, in this case we're not going to use it we're just going to go ahead and skip it and all I want to do is somehow assert on the fact that I'm on the right page so my tab contains QA Shahin so we can leverage that we can just turn this all into lowercase and in the step definition itself we can say something like assert assert true 
and we're going to say driver dot get title dot contains and um, let's just say tab and in here let's change this to tab okay so let's save that and let's go back to our feature file and quickly run this okay so it looks like it passed obviously it didn't close the browser so let's do something about that quickly okay let's run it one more time okay so it looks like our scenario part which is great now in this particular video we've taken a lot of shortcuts we haven't concentrated or focused on making anything look pretty the focus of this video is to basically now try and get this to run via Jenkins so how do we do this now if we realize if we want to run this say in Jenkins for the moment we've been using Maven to run our test however we can't use Maven to run a feature file because we haven't really gotten that far. Let's try. Let's try and run this via Maven. So if I go to the directory, that CD workspace, and then CD JNet demo. Now if I say NVN test, Notice that it doesn't actually pick up any tests to run because it isn't able to find any tests. It isn't able to pick up Cucumber as a test file and it isn't able to pick up step definition file because the step definition class isn't a test class. The way Cucumber works is for each test step, a definition is executed. But when we want to run it via Maven, this concept just doesn't exist. So what we need to do to run through Maven is to introduce effectively a class that will allow us to run Java Cucumber via JUnit, which will then pick up this class. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is go into our POM file and add in an additional dependency which will take care of Cucumber but for JUnit. And we can do that quite easily by searching for cucumber JUnit dependency maven and let's go with that one and let's go with the latest version and let's go with this particular version here and add this in and let's just indent it so it looks a little bit more pretty and save it and this will now start pulling in all the jars that are an implementation of cucumber with JUnit so now that we have this what we need to do is write a test file in our source test Java class and the test file has a couple of rules first of all to run cucumber files through maven you have to create a java class inside your test directory so that's the first thing once you create a file in the test directory the class also must end with the word test so if we say something like run cucumber test so it is important that the file contains the word test and it is inside the test directory now how do we get cucumber or rather how do we get maven to recognize this as the class that we want to identify as part of running our cucumber test well the first thing we have to do is pass in an option called run with and then pass in the cucumber class we also need to provide some cucumber options so in here I'm going to say feature feature is equal to 
and then where the features are which is source forward slash test forward slash java okay so now let's resolve these issues here so we want to import in cucumber and the other final thing we want to import is import cucumber api junit and that's it so let's save this and now let's go back to our console and try and run the exact same command again ie mvn test So now notice that Maven was able to find this particular class, i.e. run cucumber test, which in turn was able to find our feature files, which in turn was able to find a step definition code for each test step. So this is what we need to write in order to get cucumber to use JUnit as a test runner to run feature files for cucumber. So now if we go back to our Jenkins installation, so I need to quickly start up Jenkins. And if I now try to actually go to Jenkins, so that's localhost. Port 8080. All I'm going to do is create a new item and I'm going to call it a uh, cucumber demo and I'm going to copy one of the existing tests. So let's just say JNA demo. I'm going to hit OK. And all I'm really interested in is the fact that I'm running test as the goal and the location of the POM file and that's it. Hit save. Okay, so if I go back to my dashboard and let's just minimize this. If I now go to Cucumber Demo, notice that he hasn't run yet. So I'm going to hit the run button. So it's spinned out an instance of that so if i just go here and quickly look at the logs as they're building you can see that chrome has fired up in the background and it has run the test so that's it that's all it takes to run cucumber via jenkins so there should be a really clear pattern emerging from these three videos and the pattern should be if we can run something via maven on the command line then you can run it in Jenkins. It is as simple as that. Now Jenkins gives us a lot more flexibility in terms of other areas. And those are areas that we can start looking at very soon. So in this video, we have looked at writing a really quick and dirty Cucumber proof of concept just to make sure that we are able to write some Cucumber code from absolute scratch and then all we did was we figured out a way to run the cucumber test via maven once we were able to do that all we did was we run the exact same command but through jenkins that's it for this video folks i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching